here in the i button and in the description box below you'll get the complete playlist of multiple integrals welcome to video number 23 and in this particular video we are going to solve third problem on the topic which is beta and gamma function this problem is very 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 important so let us start given that integration limit goes from 0 to infinity x to the power n minus 1 upon 1 plus x dx is equals to pi upon sin n pi this part is given in the problem integration 0 to infinity x to the power n minus 1 upon 1 plus x dx equals to pi upon sin n pi show that we need to show this we need to prove this that is gamma of n into gamma of 1 minus n is equals to pi upon sin n pi where the value of n is greater than 0 and less than 1 we need to prove this that is gamma n gamma 1 minus n is equals to pi upon sin n pi so let us start first of all we will write the given part that is given what is given that is integration limit goes from 0 to infinity x to the power n minus 1 upon 1 plus x dx this is equals to pi upon sin n pi this part is given in the problem since we know that what we know that is beta of m comma n this is equals to gamma m gamma n upon gamma of m plus n okay we know this because in the beta function yes here you can see we will use this formula beta of m comma n is equals to what yes this integration 0 to infinity x to the power m minus 1 upon 1 plus x power m plus 1 dx which is equals to integration 0 to infinity x to the power n minus 1 upon 1 plus x power m plus n dx this is a very important result in video number 19 that is beta gamma function in video number 19 we have studied about this beta gamma beta function in detail and at the end we had this result that is beta of m comma n is equals to this okay this and this so we are going to use this that is beta of m comma n equals to integration 0 to infinity x to the power n minus 1 upon 1 plus x power n plus n dx we are going to use this here and this result we found in video number 21 that is relation between beta and gamma function okay i hope that you have seen that video so we can say this is equals to implies beta of m comma n can be written as integration 0 to infinity x to the power n minus 1 upon 1 plus x power m plus n dx which is again equals to gamma of m gamma of n upon gamma of m plus n fine now we will take this denoted to the left hand side so we can write this that is gamma of n gamma of m i am changing the order because both are equal gamma n gamma m can be written as gamma n gamma n okay so this is equals to this that is gamma of m plus n into integration this that is integration 0 to infinity x to the power n minus 1 upon 1 plus x power m plus n dx okay now put m equals to 1 minus n why because we need to show this that is gamma n gamma 1 minus n here we have gamma n gamma m so if you take or you can say if you put m equals to 1 minus n so we will get the lhs part okay so let us go ahead gamma n gamma 1 minus n this is equals to gamma m is 1 minus n then plus n okay integration limit goes from 0 to infinity the numerator part is as it is x to the power n minus 1 upon 1 plus x m that is 1 minus n plus n 
then write this tx fine here you can see n n gets cancelled here again n n gets cancelled what is left that is here we have in the analysis that is gamma n gamma 1 minus n here we have gamma 1 and what is left here that is integration 0 to infinity x to the power n minus 1 upon 1 plus x power 1 okay now we have dx part here so in the gamma function part that is in video number 20 in gamma function we have discussed gamma function in detail in video number 20 there we got this result that is gamma of 1 is equals to 1 okay this is the general formula for gamma function if you put n equals to 1 you got this result in video number 20 we discussed this in brief hope you have gone through this video so we can say gamma of 1 equals to 1 so on putting gamma of 1 equals to 1 you will get what this part okay gamma n gamma 1 minus n equals to this part and this part in the given yes here you can see given that this equals to pi upon sin n pi given that integration 0 to infinity x to the power n minus 1 upon 1 plus x dx equals to pi upon sin n pi this part is what this part okay so we can say this is equals to what pi upon sin n pi here you can write since integration 0 to infinity x to the power n minus 1 upon 1 plus x dx is equals to pi upon sin n pi and this is given in the problem okay so hence we can say we have proved that is lhs equals to rhs okay so hence okay i hope that you have learned a lot from this video if that is the case then please hit the like button and do share this video with your friends and don't forget to watch this video number 20 where i have discussed we have discussed gamma function in detail okay we have discussed about the general formula some important properties some important results okay this formula is very 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 important again in video number 19 we discussed about the beta function okay there we have discussed about the general formula important properties and some very important formulae okay thank you thank you so much for watching this video thank you